Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Dallas Pruitt, and this is the MFM Podcast. For those that are new listening to the podcast, I am the resident mindset consultant here at MFM. I'm also the founder of Live Life Mission, and it is my life's mission to help driven men and women, purpose-driven leaders grow their best lives, create lasting impact, and unlock their true potential. This is work that I'm very passionate about, and here inside of MFM, specifically here on the podcast, on Thursday episodes, we like to dive into the stories that are shared from our community and students inside of our community. Julissa uh, Bruzon was our student this past week with Zach Rucker, one of our coaches at, at MFM, and I wanted to dissect her story a little bit and talk about um, some very specific principles to help hopefully all of you uh, out there working in the industry, in the space, in your lives to produce better results and again, create the type of impact and do the types of things you know that you're capable of, not just in the multifamily space, in real estate and investing, but in totality. And I want to highlight a couple of things. One of the things that I dissected in listening to Julissa's story is the power of your circle. Your network you are a part of is crucial. So many times as we come into new ventures, as we start striving towards a big goal, we have a tendency, if we're not careful, to sit solitary. And it's not necessarily even sitting solitary. We have we have a tendency to work solitary. We have a tendency to uh, keep our mouths shut about the new venture because we maybe don't feel confident or quite like we know enough yet to open up to the masses. Um, but also, we create this problem in that process where we don't proactively put ourselves out there in the spaces where people, other leaders, successful individuals who have been doing the work we are striving to accomplish, they've been doing that work for quite some time. And so it's just an invite on today's episode to pay very close attention to your circle of influence and be very proactive and very conscious about who you're connecting with on a regular basis. Because the truth is that it's not, and you've heard it a million times, but it is very, very, very true in the world of business, uh, in the world of success in any in any avenue that you choose, that it's not really what you know, it's who you know. And it's both of those things. It's both what you know and it's both, or it's both what you know and who you know. And that is a powerful combination. But your network, and particularly for her, in her story, right, you were able to see the impact that networking had on not just her successfully finding and succeeding and sealing that first deal, but also what that has done for her ongoing post that first deal. I want to highlight another very powerful principle that I've, I've taught and, and found research on over the course of my career. Uh, and, and it just stacks up the data, the facts stack up that when it comes to producing great work in any space here in multifamily, it's no different that consistency matters much more over intensity. Look, we like to build heroic stories up in our minds that there were these two to three major just game-shifting actions that we took that changed our lives forever. But the reality is is that the buildup of all of those micro-actions to those pivotal points, that is really what produced and what continues to produce positive change in the right trajectory in all of our lives. It's showing up consistently and doing the work day in and day out. Consistency over intensity is a mindset that I invite everybody to adopt no matter what stage of the journey you are in right now. Julissa shared that mindset was her entire game, really. She accredited a lot of her success to the mentality and the shift, the mental shift that she experienced early on in the process and how that was crucial for success. She is, and her story is the perfect of ex- the perfect example of the truth that you are not your thoughts 
And this is something that I want to dive into on today's episode. In fact, I want to spend the remainder of our episode talking about this. You are not your thoughts. In fact, the most successful human beings, the most successful leaders in life, they are those who are actually masters at being watchers of their thoughts. Again, you are not your thoughts. Julissa gained the ability. She didn't always have it. She mentioned this, but she gained the ability to catch herself in what I call error-ridden thinking, which we are all susceptible to. And many of us are very unconscious about the errors we make. And she was able to learn this skill and shift from a short-term perspective about results and what she was striving to accomplish to a very long-term perspective. Not only short-term to long-term perspective, she was able to identify, and she referenced the book Mindset by Carol Dweck, which is an amazing resource we send out to all of those new mentorship students that come into the program. She referenced her ability to catch herself in a fixed, what is called a fixed mentality, and that is the false truth or belief, rather, that one adopts that their potential is capped, that it's, that it's fixed, rather than something that can be grown, that is limitless, which is the truth, which is reality. Data, research, work in the world of positive psychology has pointed to these facts, facts for many years now, that neuroplasticity is real, we can learn and grow as people, our skills, our identities, our abilities, our characteristics, our attributes. And this was amazing to hear from her. She also, I'm going to come back to that. We're going to close out with some very specifics regarding your ability and hopefully weaponize you with a little tactic here. It's actually a very powerful, not little. It's a very powerful tactic to be able to, a very powerful framework specifically to be able to help yourself catch yourself in error-ridden thinking. But before I do that, I also wanted to highlight something that she talked about how she used to be a very anxious person. And I can very much relate with anxiety. It's something that I have suffered from, fell into the trap of numerous times in my life. And in looking back on those experiences, it is always the same story, which is my inaction has added to my level of anxiety instead of taking action, which actually alleviates that anxiety. And the second I started to take action on the things I knew I needed to be doing, instead of thinking about those things, little by little, my anxiety and stress levels started to dissipate. Here's a truth that I want to share with you, a mindset again, if you will, and that is that your future, if you're listening to this podcast today, chances are you have thoughts about what you would like to accomplish in the future you are actually probably halfway, if not already fully committed in your mind, but something that maybe you can't put a finger on is holding you back from moving forward to that. But I want to share this truth, and that is this, that your future becomes less scary the second you stop thinking about it and the second you start moving towards it because the truth is this, fear, fear is also scared of you. Your fears, they are scared of you. You've heard maybe the reference that fear is a mile wide, but an inch deep, and it is very true. So again, the antidote to anxiety is action. And remember this, that not all of it has to come to fruition or happen overnight. Little by little, little becomes a lot when it comes to taking action towards this future we all have visions of for ourselves. Okay, lots to unpack there. But I want to close out with a very specific framework. It's something that I reference often inside of the multifamily mindset network uh, on coaching calls. I am one of uh, four coaches, um, professionals that come in and serve the MFM network on a monthly basis. And this is a specific framework that I have used in my professional practice and want to share with all of you. And that is this. 
Maybe many of you have actually heard of this before, right? This is a coaching model that I use. And I think there's a simple version of it that many people have heard, which is our thoughts produce our feelings and our feelings produce our action. But I want to give you more. And here is the actual progression. Circumstance, then thought. This is the starting point. Circumstance, then thought, then feeling, then action, then result. Again, I'll repeat it. First is our circumstance, and then comes our thought about our circumstance, and then comes our feeling from, right, is produced from our thought. That feeling fuels action, good or bad, proactive, reactive, fearful, whatever it is based off that feeling, and then that action produces the result. Now, I want to give you an example. Right? I want to give you an example, a positive example, not a negative example, but a positive example that hopefully you can take out of here. And maybe some of you can even apply like today if you're at this stage of the game. But this example is, again, just an example. So you can use this as a basis to help you better understand this in your own life. And again, weaponize yourself or empower yourself to become a better watcher of your thought. And Learn how to coach yourself through the process of growth and development. So here's the circumstance. Calling a broker. Common. Commonplace. Calling a broker. Thought on the positive side, right? Positive thought about calling a broker. I will call this broker because I want to become an investor. Not only an investor, but a successful investor. And I know communication and relationship skills are absolutely necessary to do this. That's the thought. Okay? What do you think the feeling is from that thought? Well, the feeling from that thought would be one of confidence. A positive thought produces a confident feeling. A feeling of abundance, perhaps. And the action that would follow something like that would be calling a broker. You're going to call that broker with confidence, with abundance in mind, because you will realize that you don't have to be perfect. You simply need to take action and learn from the experience so that you b can become a little bit better the next time. And then the result would be, I become a better communicator and build better relationships. Again, this is a simple, basic example. And as time goes on here in the podcast, I want to want, I actually want to start launching more of these out with time. But that is the framework of success. Again, we oftentimes believe or look to our circumstance as if it's the problem and it's never the problem. Uh, again, I will repeat this. It is never the problem. The problem is our thought about the circumstance. That is our problem. And the sooner we are honest about that and take ownership of that fact, the sooner we can start to progress towards our future, the visions that we have for our future and the goals that we want to accomplish. And that is what I am in the business of doing is helping you do exactly that. Move forward for the, towards the vision for your life, towards the goals that light you up so that you can find success again, not here just in the multifamily space, but in every avenue of your life because you are a leader you do have an impact to leave and a lasting impact to leave here on this world. And you are very capable. Your potential is a place that you can come from every single day. And with frameworks like this, you'll be more weaponized to do just that. My friends, I'm so grateful as always to be able to have you here on the MFM podcast with us to be a part of this community and continue to rate and review our podcast, please. It help us, helps us to continue to grow as a company, as an organization, as a community so that we can continue to impact more people and more lives as we continue forward. And that is our ultimate goal is to help people not only find success in the multifamily space, but to help them think bigger and live better lives. Thanks as always. And we will see you guys back here on the podcast again next week. Multifamily mindset. Podcast. Think, think bigger. Think bigger.